I think this was a well-designed study. And what you'll see is that there was a correlation between those who had stronger grip strength and those who lived longer, experienced less disease. So in fact, it says in this study, the relative risk, if you remember that, of all cause mortality per um, standard deviation increase in grip strength was 0.77. So that means 77% of, well, sorry, excuse me, the number of people with a stronger grip strength who died was only 77% the number of people with weaker grip strength who died. Now what's really cool about this study and what I think doesn't happen in enough cohort studies is that they controlled for things like percent body fat. They controlled for things like arm muscle area. So that means if two individuals had the same exact muscle area of their arm, the person with a stronger grip tended to live longer, which is a really, really cool control. Again, what they're trying to do is eliminate a healthy user bias there as best as they can, right? It makes sense that the person with a strong grip strength because they do lots of sports and they exercise often is going to live longer than somebody who doesn't. That could be considered a confounding variable.